Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I will show you how to answer. So I will put about b equals to this one and q equals to this one. Next, because we have the s, so I will do about first the derivative of b with respect to y. So we have y e to the power of s y and 1 over y. So if we do first the derivative of this one, you got about e to the power of s y. Later that we do first the derivative of this one in here, you got about y s e to the power of s y. Because if we do first the derivative of e to the power of s y, we keep about e to the power of s y. And later that we do first the derivative of s y in here, you got about s. That's why we have s e to the power of s y multiplied by y in here. First the derivative of this one, we have positive 1 over y square. Because first the derivative of 1 over y, you got about negative 1 over y square. Negative with negative, you got about positive. Now, we have dy, so we need to do first the derivative of q with respect to s. So we have s e to the power of s y and s. So if we do first the derivative of s, you got about e to the power of s y. Now if we do first the derivative of this one, you got about y e to the power of s y. First the derivative of s, you got about number one. And we have one y square. We see that this one is equals to this one, so we can use about exact. Now I need to set up about the function f s y equals to the integration. So I will choose about this one in here. The integration of e to the power of s y we have the s. So we will have about e to the power of s y minus s over y because we just concentrate about the s. So 1 over y just likely the number. That's why we have s. And then we have g s y. Later that, we do first the derivative of f of s y with respect to y. So if we do first the derivative of this one, you got about s e to the power of s y. First, first the derivative of negative one over y, we got about positive s over y square and we have d over dy g s y and we know that everything in here equals to this one now we need to simplify for the both side and you got about zero now we put the integration for the both sides And this one you got about C, that's it about the constant. Now we return back in here. The integration of this one you got about 3SY. So we know that's 3SY equal to C, so we put about C in here. And this one we know that's everything equals to FSY and F s y equal to c that's it another constant in here so if we simplify 
and we just got like this and this is the final answer this is the end thank you for watching